Well, hello, hello, and welcome back. Oh, and here we are with our very first make of 2023. Now, I'm going to be doing this series throughout the year. It's going to be a monthly thing. And the idea is to create 12 pieces of ephemera, one a month. I've mentioned before that I found the daily challenge too heavy for me. I feel a monthly challenge is much more suitable. And each month we are going to use five items. The items that we are going to be using every month, so it's the same items, but obviously you can mix up the colours and things, but each month we'll be making a different piece of ephemera and I'm hoping that way it'll all be very cohesive in a journal or as happy mail. So the things that we are going to be using every month are fabric. Now this is obviously a paper version, but fabric. We're going to be using a button. Paper or real, doesn't matter. We're going to be using a paper clip. This is also a paper clip. I mean, I know it's a bulldog clip, but it does clip papers together. We are going to be using a book page and we are going to be using some kind of packaging. Now it might be the packaging paper that we get from Mr. Amazon. It might be some kind of packaging from your kitchen. It really doesn't matter. So of course that in itself will change things. Now, in case people wanted to join in and they didn't have all the things that I've mentioned, I've put this page into my Kofi group or my Kofi page, <laughs> whatever, and I will do that each and every month. So that's what it's all about. Let's think about getting started. Now I'm actually going to do mine in fabrics, not in papers and real items. So what I've got is two different pieces of fabric here. Okay. I've got a box of paper clips, that's fine. I've got a choice of two buttons. I've got a book page from a dictionary and I've also got one of those bulldog clips. Now you can add other things, it's not a problem. And I've bought along these lovely flowers that I was sent at Christmas as part of the Secret Santa. And I will probably use one of those, which means I'm going to sew my buttons on with gold thread to tie that in. Okay. And then I have got a choice of photographs. This is an Artie Mays kit. And this is one out of a magazine that I've aged. So I'm going to be using this box to make mine. But obviously you could use flat card. Doesn't matter. So the first thing I need to do is find a pair of scissors and I need to get, right, what I basically want to keep is one thin side, one wide back or front and the other side. I do not want the front, the top or the bottom. Okay, so first things first, I am going to cut down this side. Because what I'm thinking about here is making a picture frame or a photo frame. That's what we're making this month. But I'm thinking of making it in the style of an old fashioned dressing table mirror. Now, I'm sure you will have seen, if not owned, one of what I'm talking about. It was like three mirrors. Sorry, it's really, really warm in here today. I'm almost wishing I'd open the window before I'd sat down. Um, what you would have had is three mirrors on like a try, yeah? <clears throat> now it's flat, it's going to be easier. So, I'm going to cut this open like so. Now I don't need any of those pieces. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my picture frame in here 
but I'm going to be able to open it and see my secret picture inside. That's my theory anyway. Don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> I'm sure it will. But also, of course, what it does mean is that we can... I'm just trimming this up because, as usual, it's not very straight. You know what I'm like. Um, we can decorate the outside as well. Okay. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my glue and I'm going to position, let's move these for a minute, I'm going to position my photo where I want it. So I want it in the middle there, like that. That's going to work well for me. So I'm going to put some glue on here. And stick it down where I want because you could obviously leave it blank and leave an open side so you could slide in any picture that you wanted and so that you could change what you're doing um, but I want mine to be a fixed photo not changing so I'm working from the back forward as it were okay so now what I want to do is I want to tear off bits of this packaging paper and I want to scrunch it up, get it nice and grungy, you know what I'm like. And then I'm just going to start to apply it to my picture. So I'm trying to create the sort of depth and um you know you would normally have sort of ornate plaster work on the old photo frames so i'm trying to create that with paper so i'm just creating some depth like this okay make sure that you're sticking down the paper not sticking the paper to you and I'm just going to work round like this. Okay, move that because I don't want to ruin that. Don't obviously want too much height because the one thing we always struggle with with our journals is that we're not, you know, adding any extra thickness and we really have to have so now I'm going to turn it round and I'm going to work on this side. Or should I say I'm going to work on the top and do the same thing. Like that. And I'm trying to create, I mean it's not Victorian because the photograph are, um, the photograph has got men with flat caps in which oh actually it might 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 have worn flat caps in Victorian times. Yeah I think they probably did actually so perhaps I'm making myself wrong when I'm right. <laughs> Who knows? So did everybody have a lovely rest? Everybody that was poorly got better, managed to do some, you know, overeating and Spend some time with your family and friends. Right, see, so now we've got a top and a bottom. So now I want to go down the sides, obviously, to complete the frame. And I'm just going to... I want to bend that round to make sure that I don't go on to that other side. Because I obviously want to do something else for that other side. And I'm just going to, again, screw this up. And create this super grungy picture frame. We can trim it. There's no problem there. Okay, now we don't obviously need that bit. Oh, it's 
so that bit can probably helps you wait till the glue's dry clear really okay and then I'm coming down this side as well so I can open that one out then this one back and do the same again so add my glue and obviously I am covering up some of the photograph but I'm not too worried about that Screw that up, didn't I? That one. Right. So now I've got my frame on my picture. So turning it over, I'm going to trim that off and get rid of that side. So that's now nice and straight. Do exactly the same on the other three sides. Now you could obviously go over this with some gesso and some gold paint or you could just put some ink on it. Now because I'm wanting to use those gold flowers, I am probably going to put some paint on uh, some. Gesso and gold paint. See, I'm, I'm not quite back, am I? <laughs> now, on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the top. But the reason we had to separate it is because we need to make sure that it's going to fold. Okay, so top and bottom and then this side. I'm not going to put bulk on the fold area. Okay. Whoops. So. You can see this one hasn't got a picture in it yet. Because I'm thinking that maybe this one would be waiting for some information. You know, waiting for a photograph. So because of that. It would have the blank bit. You know how you usually get um, like a sort of black and white picture in a photograph frame? Well, I'm thinking because it, I'm trying to mimic Victorian, this would probably have some fabric in it. That's not tall enough. That's annoying. So I'm going to have to use this grey this is an old sheet, um, it's a brush, brush cotton sheet so it's got a nice, nice feel to it and then just sort of pick that up, pop that under there, yep, so you can see how this is I had the idea but I didn't have a complete plan so you can see how this is like transforming as we're going along so pop that down there like that okay should have done that a bit closer really shouldn't I to have that's okay we'll do that with ink so cut this off I need my fabric pieces. Cut that off like that, and then I'm going to put my bit down the side, like there. So again, just going to build this up, actually we could 
actually love a bit of a bit of a nut there. So I'm just making this so it's got you know pattern and shape to it really that's all you can bring it all back like that make sure we're covering up that white area got a bit of a raised edge that glue is obviously not quite cool okay <clears throat> Over, trim these pieces off. Give it a press down first. Trim these pieces off. same thing on the other side okay so you don't oh, right so again glue all this like so Get myself another strip. And obviously the idea of these challenges is that you've got a whole month to do it in. You can do a little bit a day to, you know, fulfil your crafting wants and available times you don't have to sit and do it in one hit like i am i just obviously i'm making the video and sharing with you what mine's going to be like but you don't need to rush and do it all in, you know half an hour 40 minutes whatever i'm here the idea is to have a little dip in and out during the month to keep your you know your crafty head happy as it were there you go so and then I just want to bring it back so that it's a frame there you go and then we need a bit for the bottom you can twist it round and that will give you a bit more sort of definition a bit more shape to look at and a little tiny bit on that corner obviously not hanging over the fold as you can see I've got glue all over my fingers now so it's sticking to me which is not really good but it is what it is as they say right so again, I like that twist. I'm going to do another bit of a random weird twist and set that down. Like so. Right, pick it up, give it a good press. Because again, you see, if you were doing this as a monthly project you do it over two or three days you could set this aside so that all your glue can set up nicely if you wanted to add gesso and gold paint 
you've got plenty of time for it all to dry between your layers of work had to really go for that because that had um, what did it have it had fabric sticking out as well as paper see it's really sticking to my fingers now <laughs> right and then over on here on this side as well right get rid of all of that so now you can see I've got this raised frame going on. I've got two empty ones that are waiting to be filled and I've got one that's filled. So I am going to find my gesso and I'm going to find a fairly wide paintbrush and I am going to paint over now obviously you can put this into a paint palette or whatever. Right, I'm just going to... Now as I say, if you haven't got gesso or you don't want to do this, there is no reason not to just put some ink on it. Or maybe you like it as it is and you don't want to put... Oops, I just squirted that everywhere. Look, that's nice, isn't it? Oh well, these things are sent to try us, try us they will. You can see I'm not necessarily painting it, painting it, I'm just... Getting some on there so that it will take the gold paint a bit better. That's what I'm doing. Right, so I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to get this done and then in two six we'll put some gold paint on but you don't obviously need to see all the drying time and everything do you goodness me so sorry I got really carried away did the gold painting forgot to put the camera on so as you can see I've done the gesso and I've done the gold but I'm not finished with that yet so what I've done is I've popped a blob, I don't know if you can see it there, a blob of, that's just PVA glue. But what I want to do first of all is I'm taking a paintbrush into my black ink and I just want to dirty this up a bit. I don't want it all new. I want to dirty it up a bit, okay? This has supposedly been around for hundreds of years. So, well, 800, a bit more. I just want to muddy up the waters, make it look like it's been around for a while, rather than it's um, no, and it's just been stuck together by me this morning. Okay, so I'm just going over it all. You could do it with brown, you know, with a um photo vintage photo whatever if you haven't got a black that would work as well okay so you can see there are bits that are not stuck i'm aware of that sorry i've had to turn it around the right way so i can see what i'm doing that's what my pva is for over there but I feel like if I'd have put it down with PVA, I wouldn't have been able to manipulate it as well as I have um, by using glue stick. Okay, so I'm still just applying bits of black, aging this up. Whoops, let's have a little look. Yeah, see, you can now you've got some real depth going on there. You've got the old and the new or the worn out areas, whatever you want to say. Right, now, before I put the PVA on there and finish the front, I need to cover the back. So, I'm going to use my book page for covering the back. 
Now, I'm not covering the central back because that's going to be stuck down in my journal. If you want to... Um, if you want it floating, then obviously you will want to think about decorating your back as well. But mine's not going to be floating. Mine is just going to open and shut. Okay. Find my... Roller. Do this again. So, go on, admit it. How many of you had crafty stuff for Christmas? Just want to make sure that my writing is the right way up as my photo. That would have been a bit of an issue, wouldn't it? Okay, so we can trim them off now. Everything I had for Christmas was crafty. I'm so excited. My people know me so well. <laughs> it's fabulous. So I've got lots of new toys to play with. I'm sure you'll be seeing them as uh, the time moves on. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to massacre, as it were, Angela, uh, Andrea's, not Angela's, Andrea's wonderful Polaroids to get those vintage looking photos out. Okay, so here... I've got these lovely photos. Now, I love the family. So I'm going to use the family. <clears throat> I'm going to use the young man in the top hat. I'm going to use him. And then, oh, this, this rather lovely looking lady here. Okay, and I'm going to cut these right down so that I've only got the actual picture because I don't need the frames on this occasion. Thank you, Andrea. Although they are fantastic frames and I do love using them. But for this project, this is what I want to do. And this is something that you need to bear in mind. When you've got a digi kit, you don't have to use it as it's been presented to you you can you know you've bought it as long as you're not breaking any copyright by you know selling it on or whatever you can definitely manipulate it you can chop it around so that it works with the project that you're doing I'm going to be working quite a lot with photographs this year i think um you know you've know that I've always loved photos and uh, old photos and I've done quite a lot with them anyway but uh, I feel there's going to be a lot of work with photographs this year right so this is where I'm now going to bring in my paper clip also from my secret centre this lovely box of paper clips and I'm going to position one two and three together like that. I'm going to pop them on the edge there. And I'm going <laughs> to use the paper clip I've just lost. There it is. Use my paper clip to put them on there. So that when this is shut, I've got them on the front. Okay? And I think on the other side, I want to put one of my flowers. So let's open these up. Now, obviously, this is just additions. 
these are not part of the actual challenge but I've got them and I feel like if I've got them I might as well use them I'm going to take my brush that I had the gold in and see if I can't just dirty gold up the edge of these flowers like so now obviously this is going to add depth because of the center of the flower but it is what it is there's not a lot that can be done about that these are beautiful little flowers they come from hobby craft apparently have to go and have a look they're beautiful I don't generally think about buying things like this so they can just sort of sit there like that on that side so I'm gonna need um, I'm not gonna put them on yet because I need it to be flat don't I for what I'm doing so take them off okay and I will take off my photographs as well because I need to glue down the front but you can see they're going to go up there that's going to go down there that's going to fold in on itself like that just give it a good press remind it where it's supposed to be although being a box and you see this will or it would have done um you know when it was your dressing table it would have stood up like that and you could have opened it out and seen all sides of you know your head as you were doing your hair and makeup so that's what they were designed for okay now i'm missing my button so i think my button will probably sit with my flowers so let's cover up the um stick glue let's get another paintbrush now this is the one that I used in the black ink which is fine because now I'm going over this with my PVA and I'm just doing circular motions and I'm getting it in to all those crevices and that is going to make it solid and it's going to make it stuck firm okay so, and then obviously what you can do whoops is um, decide what you want to put on here so if you've got additional photographs you might want to put them on there you might have wanted to put you know something that was important to you um, in this sort of storage space remember not to go down your crease lines it won't fold um, you know there might be a newspaper snipping if it was a world to do family they might have advertised the birth or marriage of you know family members so you might want to have a newspaper announcement on there And just going around here and then obviously you'll need to let it dry thoroughly before you close it but this is what I was saying to you about this is supposed to be you know something that you do over time it's not supposed to be a rushed project that you do in five minutes and each one of these will be a little bit longer than usual because obviously I'm trying to put your week or month, whatever, worth of work into the one video. <laughs> Stick down. It keeps popping up. Okay. Turn it round. Do this last side. And then I'm going to stand mine up so that it's like a trifold so that I can get um, bits on the other side okay 
Now, just trying to see. I've got glue everywhere, I believe. Yep, because you can see that it's um, shiny where the glue's wet. So that's easy to see that you've been everywhere. So that's that. That's going to sit up there like that. And then we'll get some more. This is only PVA, as I say. You may want to use a different glue, glue of your choice, whatever. And now I'm going to... Where's my pictures gone? I can't see my pictures. Here's my pictures. So I'm actually going to take them off of the paper clip. And I'm going to put them up here but I'm going to put them in such a way that when I put the paper clip on there it um, it looks like it's the paper clip that's holding them yeah and then this last one can just sort of be under the tip. So how oops, how far down does my paper clip come? There to his shoulder. So there, like that. So we've got this array of paper clips like that. Okay. And then on this side here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of the stripe fabric that I couldn't use to line it because it was too um, short. So pulling up my bit of fabric like this, because again, this is like a memory folder. So I'm going to plop... Um, piece of fabric on there like that I'm trying to hold it carefully because obviously all the glue is wet on the other side so you would probably want to use a fabric tack for this so I've got that there I'm now going to put my flowers on you might want stronger glue than PVA for something like these flowers we'll see I'm going to put some glue all around the bottom here like this I'm going to start this one there don't mind it hanging over a little bit okay and then this one is going to come up more I might have to readdress the gluing um, when I can handle it properly because obviously at the moment yes at the moment the um, the other side being wet means that I can't quite grip it or lay it flat but you know so I'm just lining it up like that. Okay, stay up there like that. And now, where is my button? Where's my oh? See, and now my my bits come off. There you go. Oh, they're both on. Right, so obviously they need stronger glue. I will come back and put them back on. But what I'm intending to do is put that one there like that, as you know. That one down there like that. And now I've got glue all over my fingers as well. And this one, I'm just going to tuck under there like that. So that will be that flap. That flap is empty and underneath like 
so we're stuck down on the back then when we open it up <laughs> when we open it up we've got our picture and then obviously you could put a news cutting um, another little picture whatever down the side and if you've got white areas like me when it's dry you can come along there and just ink up some more black there so I'm going to lay that down there like that and say to you there is our unfinished <laughs> Trifold photo frame as our first month challenge with five, five items for 2023. I would like to say a huge thank you for you coming along and joining me, watching me totally wreck my hands and get filthy and have a falling flower. I love you all. Stay safe. I'll see you very soon. Bye bye for now.